I uh, came up with this idea originally with Callum, the, the, the late... Uh, um, I was there as well, thank you very much. This was a Hiding video. under the desk. This yeah. was a, what? No, I was there. <laughs> no, I, you weren't, you I weren't there, man. I suggested <laughs> this as well. <laughs> You weren't there, we were man. You don't know, man. the idea together. Yes, we were. God, this is historical erasure already. <laughs> but the original idea that we came up with was Mr. Beast goes to a Libyan slave market, buys a hundred slaves, and releases them into the ocean. <laughs> and the, the slaves that get, the ten slaves that get the furthest get to be freed, and the remaining ninety get sold back into slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Even and... Mr. Beast crops up a lot of these kinds of ideas. <laughs> but can you imagine it, though? I, I'm, I've, I've made the joke. I wasn't even thinking that it was a competition. It was just Mr. Beast being incredibly naive in my own mind. <laughs> he's like, trying to free slaves. He's, he goes, he's doing he goes nothing to wrong. He the ocean. He goes, you could be free. Be free. Like, you all... know, you see those people go into Chinese wet markets and they get like a sea turtle. They release it into like the Yangtze River. <laughs> and it's going to come out with two heads and, and 15 flippers. Yeah, I kind of expected like that. Like, like the, the, the ex-slaves are trying to go back away from the ocean because they can't swim. And Mr. Beast has a spear poking them back towards the sea. Back in the sea. <laughs> Don't you want your freedom? Don't you want it? And then he's got all of his mates going, oh, oh my God. Yeah, everybody's soy face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so horrible. Did you see that slave? He totally hit the dirt. Oh, no. They do those weird drone sorts, don't they? They do, yeah. <laughs> you see all the, the slaves running off into the distance. But, uh, what, and then a team of Mr. Beast employees with nets. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming off set. We can't record you. They have you tracking know. devices on their on their necks, like uh, the, the collars in Hunger Games, maybe. That's how he's going to do it, I reckon, when he eventually makes this video. <laughs> so there's only so many ideas he can have. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's <laughs> drunk on caffeine so already. so excited ah! about the prospect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outraged. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we smash. <laughs> <I would smash. laughs> so oh, I'm, to a great start, chaps. I know Harry's got a ton of ideas. Does, has anyone already got an idea other than me and Harry? I thought I'd just riff off your ideas. To be honest. I'd, I'd okay. Thought about this. Yeah. I did think of you know how unboxing videos are very popular. I was thinking about someone doing a, like a live stream of diffusing an IED. Um, I thought that'd be interesting. Like we, we, we is it live? We've gone to the, you know, the democratic. Chats, we've gone like... to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And we found a landmine, and we're going to try and defuse it live. And chat, you get to vote on which wires yeah, yeah, we which cut. Which wire gets cut? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Turning it into a competition for the audience. <laughs> oh, Fucking hell. Yeah. Oh my days. I, I have enough faith in humanity that they would actually try try and you know vote for the correct one. Maybe until the last wire, then people get a bit bored, <laughs> oh, and yeah, then they'll well, be like, "Oh, you know, let's just do the wrong one." No, half, half of the audience tunes out halfway through. They all go, and you're left with the dregs. <laughs> you're left with the dregs who are up at three in the morning in <laughs> Malaysia or something, drinking Monster. <laughs> cut the red wire! Cut the red wire! So, Harry, enlighten us with a, at least a couple <laughs> of your ideas. Uh, well, evil Mr. Beast is, <laughs> is a dastardly and devious fiend. <laughs> so, f first of all, Mr. Beast, evil Mr. Beast, I don't know about real Mr. Beast, evil Mr. Beast mm -hmm. is a great lover and admirer of a... <coughs> Coughing? Classical European antiquity. Okay. Particularly the Roman era. Mm -hmm. And so, he will go to another probably Libyan slave market Oh, blimey, these are featuring a lot. <laughs> and he will buy 100 Christians. <laughs> Christians? Christians, specifically. <laughs> and then he will buy, he will go to a local zoo or perhaps go to a safari and kidnap five lions. I see where this is going. <laughs> and then he will go take a trip to Rome. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's a, I think you a can certain figure building it out there. there. There's a, it's, it's a bit in disrepair. He's got enough money to build a new Colosseum. Yeah, Colin, you could get Colin Furs to restore the Colosseum. I've got I, a... I had loads of like gear and stuff in there. And... I've got a Colin <laughs> Furs style idea. You know how Colin Furs, very big YouTuber, British guy, yeah. I think he's an engineer or some a construction at least. He's got got practical know-how. We built a tunnel with an underground room in his house and he's, he's at the minute he's building a, uh, a platform to bring up his DeLorean into his driveway, which is awesome. But... 
I was thinking about how we could adapt this across the Atlantic to say somewhere like New York, um, because you know what would really improve New York is a series of tunnels. No, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> this is how I built uh... <laughs> a, a, t- a Talmudic network of tunnels. Uh, <laughs> say but yeah you know we, we we start a youtube video of just sort of creating a subterranean tunnel network in new york because everyone would watch that you know men go to the beach we like digging holes don't we it, yeah, it's, it's it. something that yeah i know rory does i um, did digging holes for a living he did yeah rory was a <clears> hole digger um he misses it he does so. yeah <laughs> um but that can match that with you know they can recite religious scriptures um they can talk about you know the culture in new york oh blimey that was <laughs> impressive remember gents be polite do it away from the mic <laughs> wow. yeah wow <laughs> i lost my train of thought <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah they, they can they we can live stream this whole tunnel network mm. i feel like you know if we fund it you know, all of the, the the Jewish community in New York will be safe because, of course, the Israel Hamas thing going on, they're in danger. So, building a tunnel network so they can escape quickly and easily, if if you know Palestine protesters turn up, is another added um, you know reason to do this. Not only their their prior enthusiasm for digging tunnels. So, so what is this? Just like a twenty four seven tunnel stream? Yeah, live tunnel stream. Tunnel stream. <laughs> do we do do we hold competitions in it every so often? Do we take mm. Do we do we do more basically evil competitions? <laughs> well, like it's going to be like World War Two when they're digging trenches. Basically, oh, World War One, sorry, where ev- they're digging trenches ab- above and below each other. I don't know if it's potentially a pathology that I hold, but every variation of these kinds of ideas has to be evil in some <laughs> way. And so I'm considering maybe you know you put you put a crisp, clean hundred dollar bill directly in the center of the tunnel network, and then you unleash 100 homeless New Yorkers. Into the tunnels. What, like, <laughs> I can, uh, and we're going to see whether the homeless can beat New York's Jews to, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, to a hundred pound, a hundred dollar note. No, the Jews will obviously have an advantage there. No, the, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a joke. No, 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 good. No, no, there's the, the tunnels are cleared out for the day, and the homeless people all have to try and navigate the tunnels. Some will get lost. Some will die, <laughs> some will murder each other, but one man will retrieve a hundred dollar bill. So it's like the Hunger Games, but with homeless people <laughs> yes. and tunnels. <laughs> when it gets the stained mattress. I always said that the Hunger Games just didn't have enough tunnels. Did it not? I only no. watched the first one. No, I've done the same here, actually. I read the Watch books, that. though. There were actually tunnels in the books, in the, the last one. I didn't like them very much. I just thought they were ripping off 1984. But you read the whole thing anyway. I had nothing better to do. Look at me. <laughs> uh, true, true. So, um, Harry, you might have some ideas. Again, all of my ideas are variations of evil Mr. Beast. Now, just be in mind, you don't have to be evil Mr. Beast. For all of these. <laughs> don't, no, no cheating. No, no. Uh, one that's particularly evil would be um, evil Mr. Beast. He keeps up with the news. <laughs> He does, does he? <laughs> he? He's a man who knows current affairs and what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so a few years ago, he heard about this news story. It was a little one. You might not have heard it called Epstein. Epstein's Island. <laughs> uh, no, Mr. I've not heard about that. Tell me all Mr. about it. Mr. Beast decides to buy the island. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> renovate. He flies it. a bunch of <laughs> and then, senior well, politicians out. Can we call, can we call even, evil Mr. Beast Mr. Yeast? Mr. Yeast. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mr. Yeast. Yeast. <laughs> I think we might get done for defamation. Mr. Mi- th- I'm, I'm making sure, saying this is not the actual Mr. This is Mr. Yeast. Mr. Yeast. He then we're giving him ideas. He's not going to sue us. He's going to take some of them. He, up. he then adopts 100 <laughs> orphans and situates them on the island, which also happens to be homing three billionaires at the time. And we see who, what happens, who survives. <laughs> Wait, so it's sort of like a, a Lord of the Fr- Flies, but we're billionaires. Yes, exactly. Of course, these billionaires will all be decrepit. So while the orphans are all only children, they mm-hmm. do have a certain advantage of numbers. 
So orphans versus billionaires. Can the billionaires <laughs> use their wealth to defend themselves? Sort of like a weird um, fortress game. You know, you it's, get those well, video so, games where they have sort of fortress defense and they're going to build defense against defense, orphans. But so, like, <laughs> the, their final defense is just going to be like uh, th- that mirror from Harry Potter where it shows them with their parents. I was thinking more like Call of Duty where they can call in supply drops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, actually, yeah. <laughs> so they can call in Mr. Be- Mr. Yeast. <laughs> this segment is wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is... <laughs> Mr. Yeast has helicopters and planes that can fly over, drop off supplies if needed. Some of them will be building materials, so yes, mm-hmm. they can create their fort if real they have like, time. Real like Fortnite, yeah. yeah I've, got, I've got a good uh, Mr. Yeast video. So you know how uh, <laughs> oh, no. there's a famous actress who used her yeast to make certain things like scented candles and whatever. Oh, no, oh. I know who you're on Mr. about. Mr. Yeast could also follow suit. <laughs> He can make billions. He can make billions. No. Uh, no. Rory. Why? You know what I mean? No. <laughs> That's disgusting, Rory. <laughs> Exotic cheese board by Mr. Yee. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is the first time I've piped up. <laughs> Somehow that's worse than my idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Somehow. You're talking about putting kids on an island with a bunch of billionaires. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can enact their revenge. This is for all the molested children in history. <laughs> <laughs> we can sort of get the bad uh, I, I was going to say bad juju but that's really oh, for God's sake. <laughs> the, the bad vibes off of Epstein's island so we can sort of rehabilitate that, it and it like, can become something else you could, you, could, you could build tunnels on Epstein's island and use them to age the cheese <laughs> 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 Who is going to? What's the market plan for this? Who's buying this? Who's to be fair, <laughs> cheese grown underground on Epstein's I mean, Island fair, would if... sell for a lot of money, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. So oh. it would fund the entire venture. You put them up for auction. I mean, we've we've even, even got a funding, you know, idea for you, Mr. Beast. So you're welcome. Yeast, Mr. Yeast. Yeast. Oh, sorry, I, I've got a speech impediment that it... <laughs> it replaces Y's with B's. It's some... very unusual. I'm the only person that has it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if, if e girls can sell their used bathwater on the internet, I suppose there's a market for anything. But that's too far, man. That's too far. <laughs> right, Lewis, you've been sat there in shock and horror this I whole have. time so I far. Have thinking you'll never show your face in polite society it's again. true. This is true, so you might as well go all in. I might your as well. Idea? Oh, you mentioned about bath water. Oh. So you could do like... Uh, <laughs> I sampled a thousand e-girls in <laughs> <bath water. laughs> Until I get an SDI or something. <laughs> <laughs> start with... Uh, is it... What's her name? Belle... Oh, Delphine, Delphine. Oh, yeah, Delphine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. start with her. You don't want to be too quick getting yeah. that one. Dude. It's like oh, one sip and you just get herpes breaking. <laughs> like... Or growing out of your yeah, yeah. Like 3D. <laughs> Mutate into a new life form. It's like the fly. <laughs> <laughs> you transition into yeah. an ego. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, yeah. That's why I sampled a thousand fun. e-girls bathwater until I turned a femboy like, or something. Oh, God. <laughs> like, what, what's, 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 what's the ultimate goal? So obviously... It's, it's clear to everybody, clear as day, why video. why you're putting orphans and billionaires on an island together. <laughs> yeah, I'm questioning <laughs> your well, ethics. And cheese, <laughs> and cheese tunnels. <laughs> no, cheese I'm still, tunnels? I've still got questions about that one. <laughs> uh, what's what's the end goal of the of the Eagle Water? Is it so that you can then go on and create a ranking video? Is it going to be a tier list? It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <Yeah. laughs> It's for engagement. Okay. It's just to grow my YouTube channel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need 10k subs. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! You probably would actually get. Probably would get it. That would hit the algorithm and go yeah. so far. If Hawk Tour could get, oh, God, oh, oh I hate TV that show. I'm. They got a, what? He got, got a TV show lined up apparently. Oh, I heard. I, I hate that whole thing yeah, so, so, so some woman was a whore on the street mm. i mean met many such cases and uh yeah but they don't all get tv shows do they <laughs> you'd be surprised <laughs> i suppose so yeah but the ones who get tv shows are also whores behind closed doors <laughs> whores behind closed doors is a great <laughs> name for a tv name show yeah, there you go <laughs> there's a huge yeah there's channel, a youtuber right there. but yeah that's not gonna Doors yeah. behind closed doors. We set up secret cameras in Hollywood's executive <laughs> offices. 
we found out who's who's been hired on merit and who's been hired on merit of a different kind. Well, it, absolutely none of them have been hired on merit. Oh, yeah, well, man. just just look at how many famous actresses came out after Harvey Weinstein. Basically, all of them, wasn't it? Just like, oh, right, you've all you all agreed to it. Okay, all right. Well, uh, you, it's a bit weird. Oh, I've got a great idea. I've got a great idea for a reject. <laughs> <laughs> for a rejected YouTube video. This is slightly more innocent. A spelling bee hosted by Joe Biden. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> he gives you the words. He tells you if you've spelt them right or not. What about a spelling bee with children with speech impediments? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a South Park episode. <laughs> you've got J- Jimmy from South Park. This is the judge for you. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hilariously evil because you know you stream that online and they're never not being bullied, aren't they? I mean, that is a guaranteed bullying for the rest of their life. Oh, I mean, you could just do that one way. You've got a. It was in South Park where you get kids with terrible speech impediments to sing the Twelve Days of Christmas. <laughs> to watch the full video, please become a premium member at LotusEaters.com.